What's up guys, Cornerd here. Today we're actually going to be taking a look at YouTube.com and their change. And I know I'm a little bit late in the game, but I figured I'd give you some of my dislikes slash likes of the YouTube layout change, which has recently changed, I believe, in early December. So, we go to YouTube, and I actually have seen this before, and I hoped that it wouldn't be the final layout. I might want to add, they were doing some testing with my account and other people to see probably if they liked it, and I wish I had given input at that time. But anyways, we go to YouTube.com, and first of all, we're signed in here, and we've lost a little bit of stuff. First of all, uh, the first thing I really, really dislike is the fact that we see what to watch, and it's automatically highlighted at what to watch. Well... Yeah, I know they're trying to be more social and get you to new people and new channels and all this. However, the thing also about it that's kind of ironic is a lot of this stuff I'm already subscribed to. But some of it isn't, and I don't like that because the what to watch also seems to be older videos that I've already seen, by the way. And that's one thing that's very annoying. And I can go to my subscriptions and see, okay, this is all of the subscriptions that I have here and that's fine but I have to go to that every time I go to YouTube now it's a small thing I know but it's nice to be able to actually be able to select your subscriptions and be able to see them without having to actually select them so that's one thing I don't like about it and that kind of is annoying to be quite honest YouTube you should allow people to have their my subscriptions first sometimes I don't want to see Gangnam Style what if I want to see my own style? So you should allow me to at least be able, or us really, to be able to see what your subscriptions are and automatically be sent to your subscriptions if you go to YouTube.com. That just is slightly annoying. Now what they also did was they removed the bar and they replaced it with this white transparent subscriptions bar. And it's quite just plain. Now, I've been one to complain about too much on a website, and way too much, at this point, white, but anyways, way too much before, background, where there was way too much color, way too much everything. Now, YouTube has taken the opposite way. They really want to make it simple, and the simple stuff is not cool, because it actually makes it harder to see and harder to find your stuff. And if people agree with me, definitely give me a thumbs up, because this is just annoying. So I can see my people that I subscribe to, but again, which is more annoying, I can't see my subscriptions automatically when I go to YouTube. Now, another thing that is really annoying is, and this is just slight stuff, but I mean, it makes it, in my opinion, a big impact, is the fact that my mail is no longer easy to access. I actually have to go all the way here and go into inbox. Now, while that may be something small, look at the amount mouse I have to actually go it takes me quite a bit longer to just get to my inbox which maybe it's calling something just I have to get used to and I sort of have but it's just it's nicer to have things in the left hand column and this is such such an interesting change it's just it's not my favorite definitely and the thing is as well I have to say is when you're in full screen like I am here you see all this white that's not necessary. You could always center it. I mean, that would probably be a little bit better than having white space of nothing. I mean, if I even do a search, let's say I search for, I don't know, let's say I search for Techno Buffalo, for example. All right, so I go and I play something on Techno Buffalo. And as you can see, I'm still left with white space. So it's so much white. I mean, <laughs> I thought I'd never say this, but they've overdone it with the white, and usually websites overdo it with other colors, but in this case, white. In fact, I really don't think it's that good. It's actually harder to get to my stuff, and on top of everything else, it automatically, hopefully it won't automatically do this, but I'm sure it does. So if I hit guide, let's say I go back to Techno Buffalo, do a search click on this, it already closes it automatically to give me more white. So, 
as you can see, it's quite annoying. I mean, I can't have my guide open automatically on videos if I basically keep it open and try to go to another video. It still closes automatically. So that's quite annoying, and I've been wanting to make a video on this. I've just been dealing with the changes, but they're just slight little things that add up to be very annoying. And not to mention their recommended channels are just like on this side when they could be on the right and you could just move everything over to the center and then you have both. I, I actually miss the old YouTube change that they did and everybody hated it. And now look at this. It seems a lot worse. I tried to avoid it when I was seeing this, but apparently they liked it enough to actually implement it. I think another change is definitely due. And the problem with it is that it's really just annoying. I mean, I want to see my feed. I don't want to have to click my subscriptions in order to see my feed. I, I know this is little stuff, but it, the little stuff adds up, YouTube. I mean, come on. Browse channels. Okay, so I can browse my channels. But again, it's white. <laughs> I guess that's if I have to put a title in this video, which I will, it's going to be saying, YouTube is now converted to white. Or something like that. I'll come up with a better title. But anyways, this is just ridiculous. It's like they took what was decent, and I actually liked it, the change recently that they changed. That made it pretty good, in my opinion, and just made it crap. I don't like it. I know they're trying to make it more social with this, but the thing is, is that the videos that I see that are recommended for me, I've already seen them. So, it's kind of pointless, and that's that's the thing. Again, I know I'm doing a little bit of a rant, but I've already seen these. So, YouTube, stop with the white crap, this minimalistic crap, and go over to what actually worked last time when you changed it again, and or either change it to make it a little bit better, because I'm probably not the only one that's complained about this white. I've talked to people around me, my friends, and they just don't seem to like the white. And again, allow people to at least be able to select their default area that they're going when they go to the website. So I mean, yes, this is a minor complaint. Yes, I could make this my home page or I could make it a tab. But do I really have to? I mean, come on, you should be able to allow me to select that and choose more settings. So Again, everything else is pretty much the same, which is good. That's what I like about it. As far as being able to upload videos and link Facebook and all that, it, everything works the way it used to. But, I mean, as far as their design layout, I don't know what they were on or what they were doing. I mean, I apologize, YouTube. I really appreciate you allowing me to host my content on your site. I just think that you have to consider changing your layout. So... Actually, I'm going to name this video and end this video with YouTube needs to change their layout. Thank you guys for watching, and if you agree, definitely hit the thumbs up. I will be doing more videos and less ranting, but this is really a YouTube rant. Uh, again, you can check out my other videos. I think the other video that is very popular right now is how to use Windows 8, and the link will be in the description below. And I hope you guys have had a Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you tend to celebrate and a great new year to come. So thank you guys very much for watching these videos. I'm Cornerd, and definitely stay tuned for more.